All right, June the 1st. Here we go. It's interesting. We are learning from ancient secrets of the past how to deal with our culture today. And we could use a lot of help if you look around and check it out. Now, today we learned something interesting. Is it possible to have a divine hand of God upon us? Now, I want you to think about that. It seems almost pretentious, doesn't it, to suggest that God's divine hand is upon us. What does it mean to have the hand of God on us, and how does that happen? It's a good question. Well, I want to take you back to ancient Babylon. Now, what you are looking at here is ancient Babylon in these historical places. I'm sorry, Craig, we have to stop. One of the um, slides is not cooperating with me. I hate when that happens. Give me a second. See when that happens? Oh, I've got to move a bunch of slides to get to that back one. Now that's the benefit of PowerPoint, and that's also the curse of PowerPoint. Uh, y y y y whenever you stack up slides one after another, it becomes a big problem. Why? And of course I don't have that one. I have a lot of military pictures, by the way, folks. There, that's the one. So, we'll just zoom that in. Hmm. Okay, now what's that one? Nebuchadnezzar's palace. All right. We'll put ancient Babylon. Almost. Hold on a minute. No, don't stop tape. I just need a couple of seconds. Come on. Come on, baby. It's a highly technical procedure, Craig. Highly technical. Remember that. This the hands of a video surgeon. That's right. I did it. We did it. Now let's just check it. It's going through the sequence, going through the sequence, going through the sequence. Good, 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 good. Hey, dude, looks like we got it, man. And the problem? What was the problem? Ancient Babylon. Okay, ready to go. Here we go. Let's go back and start that over again. Yeah, May, June 1st. Take two. You're watching Quick Study, where we are taking ancient truths from the past and applying them to today. Now, this is interesting. We're going to take a look at ancient Babylon in just a moment. And as we go through the Bible, we find some very interesting places. Is it possible to have the divine hand of God upon us? Seems rather pretentious, doesn't it, to suggest that God would have his hand on something I do. Nevertheless, it occurs in the Bible. What does it mean to have the hand of God upon us, and how does it happen? Good question. Let me take you back to ancient Babylon, modern-day Iraq. As you're looking on the screen, we see the historical places of the Bible about a thousand miles up. This is the closest I'll ever come to being an astronaut. And here we see ancient Babylon circled here on the map. And it is an amazing place from 15 miles out you can see it. Now you can see, of course, ancient Babylon. Here is where uh, Saddam Hussein's former Saddam Hussein's palace is and the military installation and Nebuchadnezzar's his old palace that Saddam Hussein was trying to rebuild. Here's the southern part of the city, and then this, of course, is the northeastern part of the city, heavily fortified with military today. Very, very interesting. Babylon is probably, Babylon is probably one of the most protected sites uh, in ancient history. Now let's go down here to Nebuchadnezzar's palace. Here we see an amazing image from Google Earth at about 21,000 feet, I should say 2,100 feet, and we see the structures that Saddam Hussein started to rebuild. Now these are pictures that I was able to get from some friends of mine. And you can see the walls that he started to rebuild. And of course there's military men and behind them you see the military hardware there. And of course look at the walls behind my friends here as they are putting this all together, or they were putting it all together, and Old Babylon was the place where Ezra was from. The power of ancient Babylon. There, of course, is the lion. Now, Ezra probably lived in a hut like that on the left, and Saddam, or rather uh, Nebuchadnezzar and all of the people lived in that, but that's what Saddam Hussein actually built on the right. Very interesting, isn't it? What does it tell us? 
Ezra was a real man in a real place in real history. The Bible is real history. We have the places, we have the dates, we have the people. There it is right there. Fascinating stuff. Now, in just a moment, we're going to continue of what it means to have the divine hand of God upon us. Did you like my pictures, Craig? Beautiful, isn't it, man? you got to love the pictures. You know what I did? I put the video cam on. So I recorded I'm going to put that on YouTube. June 1 segment, you're going to watch it on TV, and then you're going to actually see what the camera sees. I don't know. 